Hello and welcome my friends. This time I have an art journal page with all and create stamp sets that I got from Sari Stamping Studio and everything will be linked in the description box below. I hope to bring you along while I create this steampunkish and kind of creepy page. So, I start in my Big Dilutions journal and I have cut squares from watercolor paper that I glue on randomly and overlapping each other. I want to have this random texture in my background and when I have glued down all my squares I put my journal in my spray box and bring out Distress Oxide sprays in weathered wood, tumbled glass and Distress Spray Stain in prized ribbon. I spray with weathered wood first, then tumbled glass and last prized ribbon and I spray with water to make them blend and drip down my page. Next up is stamping. I pull out a stamp set called Steampunk Alchemy and I start with those bottles, putting them on my watercolor paper and pick them up with the door. I stamp the bottles in VersaFine Onyx Black ink and I stamp, as I always do, some extra bottles. And then I stamp the light bulbs in the same ink. You see, I have this plan, so I bring out a dilutions tag and score it before I fold it like a little card that opens. Next, I need a couple of wood strips, so I use this Distress Wood Grain Paper and my guillotine trimmer to cut two strips. Then, I use Distress Oxide Ink, first in Vintage Photo, then ground espresso and last archival black soot to darken the edges. So let's get back to that background and I want to bring out those squares so I use my black Stabilo oil pencil to go around each square and a water brush to activate the black and frame every square. Next up I stamp more images from the same stamp set in VersaFine Onyx Black ink. It's now time to give that folded tag some love, starting with me using my fingers to tear up the sides, trying to make it look old and worn. When I'm happy with the torn edges, I bring out Distress Ink in Vintage Photo and use a brush to darken the edges to get more of that old look. When my tag is old enough, I bring out a stamp set with poppies and stamp a few flowers and buds. It's time to color all my images and I use regular distress ink. First, and this is hard to catch on video, I use tumbled glass to give those glass bottles some depth. Then I bring in Vintage Photo to give the labels an old feeling. And for some labels I used yellow mustard seed to achieve the same feeling.
For the light bulbs, I wanted the bottom part to look like old metal, so I bring in Dina Wakely's scribble sticks and choose the one named Gilt. These sticks are water reactive, and I put some on my surface and pick up color with my brush, and sometimes I bring the brush to the stick to get more color. For the glass part of the light bulbs, I use carved pumpkin in the middle and mustard seed to color in the rest of the bulbs. For the alchemist man, I use the light yellow scattered straw for his beard and vintage photo to add shadow. For his skin tone, I use my Prima watercolor palette called Complexion. For his coat, I chose the dark blue shipped sapphire and the purple dusty concord. Next, the poppies get some color and I use the dark orange crackling campfire, the red barn door and the dark red aged mahogany, starting with the lightest and adding the darker colors for some shadow and depth. For the buds I use the green rustic wilderness and the bluish gray speckled egg. Next, I'm back with that tag and I put it in my stamping platform and choose a stamp reminding me of an old alchemy recipe. I stamp it on the front of the tag in VersaFine Clear Pinecone Ink and cover it with Wow's Clear Matte Doll Embossing Powder to avoid a shiny result and melt it. Next I stamp the inside of the folded tag with a much more creepy stamp in VersaFine Onyx Black Ink and heat emboss the image with WOW's Clear Matte Doll Embossing Powder and melt it. Now let's get back to my background and I use this Dress Oxide Ink in Black Soot to go around the whole thing, framing it with that chalky black. Next, I thought the background needed some cobwebs, but I don't want them too much in your face, so I used this dress oxide ink in hickory smoke, and to make them stand out from the background, I cover the cobwebs in Wow's Clear Super Fine Embossing Powder, and melt the powder until shiny. And I put those grey cobwebs all around the background and in the corners. The last detail is to put in a spider, and I stamp the spider in VersaFine Onyx Black Ink and cover it with that powder from WOW and melt it with my heat tool. Now let's put this page together, starting with that folded tag. I use liquid glue to glue it down because it gives me a little wiggle room. And then I move on to glue down those light bulbs and the wooden strips that I use as a shelf for those bottles and flowers. And while I glue, I want to say thank you to all of you for watching my videos. I am truly blessed to have so many of you subscribing and commenting.
I glue down the poppies in the bottles and add that alchemist with his hat and monocle. And I also add more shelves, bottles and flowers. Next, I'm using one of those metal thingies that I stamped earlier, and I poke a hole through the page and secure the metal thingy with a small brad, so I now have something to keep the tag envelope closed. Finally, I add one more flower, and now this mixed media steampunk and poppies art journal page is finished. Thank you so much for following me on this journey, and I hope you will come back soon for more. Until the next time, see you soon.